All right, everybody, this is Ross. Today we're talking about persimmons and officially my persimmon season has started. And this is a beautiful, beautiful thing because I have to say that these persimmons are really my favorite fruit. Um, it's incredible how good these actually are. And the first one to ripen pretty consistently here actually is my proc tree. Um, this is an American persimmon that ripens very early and is actually, in my opinion so far, is the best tasting persimmon I've had. Um, out of different varieties, I've actually tasted in samplers, um, in different stores, in, from other growers, from my own collection as well. This one here, not only does it ripen the earliest, but it ripens the best tasting fruit. Um, proc is a, a smaller American fruit, as most of the Americans are. And uh, it has a really awesome date, raisin, dried fruit flavor to it. Like a dried fig, like a dried persimmon. It comes out really well, even in the fresh state that we see here. Uh, I'm just now getting my first ones. It is uh, early September, believe it or not, which is amazing. Um, I think in the past they've actually gotten maybe one or two of these at the end of August. Um, and that's just incredible for persimmons because most of them here in my yard will probably ripen in late October, a month from now. Um, others ripen actually after frost. Some of them ripen even just like in the dead of winter. So the fact that this is ripening as a fall fruit so early to me is amazing. I, I really do like this. This is actually ripening before my pawpaw is coming in. It's ripening before my pomegranates are coming in. Um, it's ripening even before one of my peach trees. I have a Indian free peach that's yet to ripen. Um, and it's coming in at about the same time a lot of the really special figs would come in. Um, so this is like, you know, a real treat. Let me cut this open and show you guys the inside here. I hope it's soft enough. So there we go, there is some seeds. I don't mind the seeds at all. If they taste this good, I don't care. And I think the reason why I like these more than figs is because they ripen at a high, higher quality more consistently. Um, so the, the figs, for whatever reason, if they could just ripen at this level of quality all the time, I would be hard pressed to choose one of them. But this is like, you know, my best ripened fig, which by the way, we have been ripening some really high quality figs this year because of the dry weather that we've been having. Um, but these are not really affected by the rain like figs are. So for that reason, it just always is gonna ripen at a higher quality. Um, so for my, for my money, I think if you like figs, you're gonna like persimmons and vice versa. I don't see why you would really not prefer one or the other. Uh, this is again an astringent type, so it's supposed to be soft, not crunchy like an apple, as all the Americans are quite soft and astringent. Um, but these I think are above and beyond also the non-astringents. I know people prefer one or the other, but I'm telling you, you ate this, you, I don't know how you could possibly like the hard ones more. I really don't understand it. Uh, this is just above and beyond, like this is, you know, and of all the fruits I grow, you know, I've tried every single one of them for the most part. You can grow here in a temperate climate. Gumi, gooseberries, grapes, muscadine grapes, apples, pears, different types of peaches, different types of stone fruits, pawpaw, figs, pomegranates, jujubes, uh, so many different types of ribes, elderberry. I mean, whatever it is, this is the best one. So let's try it. Wow. It's so good, guys. <laughs> it's so sweet. Um, not as soft as I normally eat them, believe it or not. I was so excited I couldn't contain myself. But um, even though this isn't very soft, it's still insanely good. And actually, there is no astringency in it which I was surprised because I thought there'd probably be a little bit of stringency. I'm getting a little carried away here. 
But um, I kind of want to just show you guys my Rosianca real quickly because it's ripening fruit right now. Well, it's not ripening fruit right now, excuse me. This one will ripen probably around Christmas time. And uh, so it's not just there just yet, but it's super exciting because we have a lot of fruits this year, which I've waited a very long time to get production that would be, well, normal for a tree of this age and this size. And so this is kind of what we have to look forward to here this guy, this year, this guy, uh, guys. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this little tasting and that we will be excited here for what is to come uh, because we have a lot of fruit down in here. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited. We'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Hit that subscribe button and check out some of the other videos we've done now on persimmons.